Before knowing how to diagnose ventilator associated pneumonia, you need to know two terms hospital acquired pneumonia as well as ventilator associated pneumonia. Hospital acquired pneumonia is a pneumonia that occurs after 48 hours or more and did not appear to be incubating at the time of admission. Ventilator associated pneumonia is a hospital acquired pneumonia itself that develops more than or equal to 48 hours after endotracheal intubation. So how is the diagnostic evaluation? You should know that there is no gold standard for the diagnosis of VAP. However, you can suspect uh, ventilator associated pneumonia in patients who develop new or progressive pulmonary infiltrate on chest X-ray or HRCT plus associated with uh, supporting clinical findings of infection. So what are the clinical findings you suspect? They can present uh, after endotracheal intubation with the dyspnea, fever, tachypneic, uh, reduced tidal volume, increased inspiratory pressures. Uh, on uh, lab investigation, it can show worsening hypoxia or leukocytosis and serial x-rays showing new or progressive infiltrate. Despite the high incidence of VAP, Diagnosis is very difficult due to the presence of a similar findings in many patients in ICU. So a simple tool for the diagnosis of VAP was needed. And so comes the clinical pulmonary infection score CPIS for diagnosing ventilator associated pneumonia. The CPIS score has six variables and points in the range of 0, 1 and 2. Six variables include tracheal secretion chest x-ray, temperature, leukocyte count or total leukocyte count, ratio of PaO2 by FiO2 and culture. So and ranging from 0, 1 and 2. Tracheal secretion, if it is rare, it is given 0 points. If the patient has abundant secretion, 1 point. Abundant and if it's purulent, 2 points. Infiltrates, if it's diffused, 1 point. If it's localized, if it's uh, 2 points. Temperature, if it's more than 36 and less than 38, it's given 0 points. However, if it's more than 38 and uh, less than 38, one, 1 point. More than 39 and less than th 36, 2 points. Total leukocyte count 4000 to 11000 is 0. Less than 4000 or more than 11000 is 1. Uh, if uh, less than 4000 or more than 11000, with band forms, it's given 2 forms, 2 points. Ratio of uh, PaO2 by FiO2 more than 240, 0 uh, or ARDS. If it is uh, less than 240 with no evidence of ARDS, it's 2 points. Culture, if it shows anything, it's 0, negative. And if it shows something positive, uh, it is given 2 points. Now, how to remember is that there is 3 T in here. Tracheal secretions, temperature and total leukocyte count. No, and uh, there is 2C, chest x-ray and culture and 1R, ratio of PaO2 by FiO2. So 3T, 2C and 1R, 3, 2, 1. And so points 0, 1, 2, this you will have to read it and learn. How is the scoring of CPIS interpreted? If the score has come more than 6, it is highly suggestive of pneumonia. If it is less than 6 or equal to 6, Antibiotics can be discontinued after 3 days if there is no further increase in score. Thank you.